Here with Washington State women's basketball head coach Cammie Etheridge. Coach's opening statements after your team was handed a 71-38 loss against number two ranked Stanford here in Beasley Coliseum. Well, just Stanford's really, really good. And, and um, you know, we, were, we weren't very good on the offensive end, but that's because they're really good defensively. Um, I don't really have any answers. I need to watch, watch what happened. I thought we played intimidated. You know, in a game like this, you got to have people that make shots, you know, that are open. And certainly you got to make layups that you get. Um, have to handle the ball a little bit better than we did in the first half. We just, we just gave them way too many possessions and took possessions away from us. So, um, you know, it was just a tough night for us. And, 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 but all the credit in the world to Stanford. We'll open the floor for questions. Please state your name and organization. Go ahead and start. Andrew Quinn, Krem 2 in Spokane. Coach, uh, just talk a little bit about Haley's game tonight. It seemed like she was able to kind of get to her spots there in the mid-range early on. Then later you guys were a little bit better on her defensively. Did something change there? And why, why has she just been able to be a thorn in your guys' yeah. side these last few years? Well, I mean, obviously we made, you know, you got to scheme something. I thought, I thought, you know, they just, they, they get her in spots on the floor that makes it really hard to guard her. Um, we made mistakes in what we wanted to do on ball screens for her and with her. Um, and she's going to make every shot around the free throw line that she gets. Um, just a versatile score. It's what makes them so good. All of the, their kids are so versatile and they can score and they can hurt you in a lot of different ways. And uh, Haley's been doing that for a long time and she certainly hurt us tonight. And you guys had Cam in foul trouble for much of the game, one of their stars on the bench, and just weren't able to get any shots to fall. Just Was it more what they were doing defensively, or were you just not getting good looks? What, what would you say would uh, characterize the offensive output tonight? Well, I mean, I need to watch it to see it again, I, I, even though I don't want to watch it. But, uh, you know, they're good on ball screens. They can, they can double the ball. They can high catch. They can, they, they're not going to let you get behind them and beat you off the bounce. Uh, and I thought we made real bad decisions and hard decisions. I thought we, we over-penetrated. Um, you, know, you know, I think there were, I think there were people open and we just kind of, you know, over-penetrated and, and uh, didn't keep the ball moving at times. Again, that has a lot to do with, you know, they can switch one through f five and, and not, you can't even hardly find a mismatch in that. So, again, I think it has a lot to do with them. It's not like you, you, we come across that kind of size very often across the board. So, I don't think it's easy for us to adjust or, you know, maybe we weren't ready for all of that. And, and I thought we were going to get some better looks. I thought we got some good looks. I thought we turned down some good looks. So, um, in a game like this, you got to find a way to put some points on the board, and, and you can't get too greedy and want something better if you if you get a, a good look early. So, um, again, I think it's a credit to uh, Stanford and, and just the length and the size and the versatility of their players. And this was Stanford's 72nd consecutive win against Washington State. Just what do you think is one or two things that you can do differently when you face them again that maybe could narrow this gap between the two <laughs> schools a little bit? Well, just like I told the team, I'm not, I, I don't feel responsible for all 72 losses and I don't want my team to feel responsible. Again, that is a credit to Stanford and who, who they've been over since 1982. Um, and it's, it's kind of revealing as to what Washington State's been since 1982. Um, this team's done a lot of things for the first time and beaten teams that they've never beaten or ended streaks and things like that. Uh, and this is a streak that we haven't been able to end. Uh, but I certainly don't put the response. I don't think there's a thing that we can do different. I don't, I mean, we need to recruit. We need to, we need to, we need to get a little bit better talent in, and um, more dynamic one-on-one -on -one players. Um, you know, people got to go, you got to be able to put the ball on the floor and, and create shots for yourself or others. And we don't quite have that yet. We don't quite have the size we need in the post yet. So we got to keep changing. But believe me, they're going to keep getting, you know, all Americans every single year. And Tara does a great job coaching those guys and making sure that they're very, very good. So again, I think it's a statement about Stanford. We want to be closing the gap. I don't think we did tonight by the score. 
but we certainly want to continue to try to close the gap and and uh, eventually win lose lose that that streak and that last little thing that keeps coming up when we play Stanford. Obviously, a different team last year, but but could you kind of kind of compare what maybe what you did last year to stay on them and that that game down there versus you know what what you didn't have in, in this one? Well, I mean, I think they killed us here, didn't they? Or did we only play them once? I'm getting maybe Oregon's messed up. You know, I don't know. I mean, Hull didn't play in that last game when we played down there. I think she was a big factor. You know, sometimes you meet Stanford on a night that they're really good. I, I, again, I don't think we we schemed well. I don't think we did the right things defensively. But, you know, that was mild compared to what we were on the offensive end. And got to make shots. You got you to gotta play fearless. And, and like I said – you know, we have four turnovers in the second half, but you, you, you just kill yourself when you have when you have 13 in the first half. What do you like? You know, obviously a rough first quarter, but then cutting it to six in that in that second. What you know, what, was it your defense that that let you stay afloat there? And what did you like on that end? Well, I mean, again, I I think we just scored a little bit. We scored three points in the first quarter. You're just you're putting yourself in a in a hole right away. We only score 15 in the second, but that was our best quarter of the of the night. So we just put some points on the board. But again, they matched it and and beat it. Um, you know, you're just not going to beat Stanford not scoring the basketball. And and we keep saying it all the time. You know. Got to, you got to get to 70, and we were a long way from 70 tonight. Uh, Sam Taylor, Daily Evergreen. Um, this game started at least the first few possessions with like a lot of physical defense. Does that, um, uh, in terms of practice, is did you accomplish what you wanted to? Obviously not throughout the game, but accomplish what you wanted to out the gate. And what, how much of a focus was that throughout the week of being? Yeah, physical? I mean, I, I thought I thought we we. You know, we made a couple of mistakes, but the they we hold them to 15 points in the first quarter. We just don't score the basketball. We have seven turnovers in the first quarter. I mean, we just didn't give ourselves a chance to to be in that game, even, you know, down 12 at the end of the quarter. But still, you think you can get in it if you just start taking care of the ball. Again, I thought we had a great first part of that second quarter and then four and a half minutes to go. I think it was a seven or eight point game. And, and in the last four and a half minutes of the second quarter, they scored 13. So... Their streaks and their runs and us, our inability to, to match uh, some of their scoring or even get some consistent scoring is, is, is the difference in the game. Defensively, you know, we battled. I don't think we were perfect at all. We, we gave up some big shots. But, um, you know, this is much more about what we're doing on the offensive end. What were your thoughts on um, Lauren uh, Glazer coming off of the bench? I love her. I mean, I love Lauren and how hard she plays. She's limited in the sense that she still doesn't know – you know some of the plays and the spots that she comes in, and but she's she's gonna play really hard. I, you know her, she tried to match much more size, um, and and I thought battled pretty hard and pretty well. Uh, you know probably deserves some more minutes from us, and and hopefully she'll keep earning them and 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 making a difference when she comes in. Thank you, coach. All right, Coach, that's all the time we have. Thanks for your time. We'll talk to you after Sunday's game against Cal. Appreciate the crowd. It was awesome. Thanks, for everybody, for, and hopefully come back on against Cal. Go Cougs.